Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I got 70 meld at the moment and there are still some gene mods that I could use. So, for example, Magnus could use secondary heart and Matt could also use secondary heart but he's currently in the hospital so I can't give him any gene mods. But I'm going to give secondary heart to Magnus. I wouldn't want him to die or anything like that. And I'm about to finish blaster launcher research. Or not. Okay, unidentified. Oh, that's probably a supply ship. Alright then, let's do it. I still got two soldiers in the hospital, so this might be an interesting mission. Oh, and I actually have three people in psionic testing, right. So let's see, I got Eva, I got Zhang, and I got Lisbeth. And I got these people as well. Yeah, this should be fine. I'm actually going to bring one of my fresh heavies to this mission. Yeah, sure, so... Yeah, she can come. Now I just need to give them actual proper gear. So, make items available. Zhang already has everything he needs. I can make some more platings, and I probably should. I'm not sure if I have enough. Let's see. Plating for Lisbeth. Does she really need a scope? Probably not. I could bring an arc thrower, but I don't really want to, to be honest. Hmm. I will actually give her a scope. That's kind of useful with the alloy cannon or with any shotgun type weapon. So, do I need one more plating? Yes, I actually do. I have quite a few chrysalid corpses now. I could probably sell some of them. Because I won't need more than one, maybe two chitin platings anymore. So, there we go. Alright, now I can give chitin plating to everyone. So, that's definitely what I'm going to do. Plating here, and what else? Oh yeah, scope, right. And I should change her color real quick, so let's do that. To my standard blue. And I think this squad looks fine. No more changes. I guess I could use one extra medkit, just in case my support gets critically wounded or something like that. I could give medkit to Lisbeth. Instead of the scope, I prefer to keep scopes on my heavies because their aim is usually kind of low. Okay, I'm going to give the med kit to Lisbeth. Alright, so let's go. This should be an interesting mission, especially since I can actually get sectopods now. It's quite likely that I'll start seeing mutant elites soon. And while mutant elites aren't as dangerous as sectopods, they are still quite dangerous. They have 20 defense, I believe, and they have 100 base aim on impossible. They normally have 80, but they get plus 20 bonus on impossible, so they are quite dangerous. You definitely don't want to give them high ground advantage. That's a really poor life choice. So, let's move. I think I'll just move to the front. Would be nice getting some meld from this mission. I don't see any containers right now. Yeah, I'm going to move towards the front of the UFO. Seems like a good idea. Maybe I'll see some meld. Yeah, there's the meld container already. And that one should be fairly easy to get. I'll just dash towards it like so. Alright. I got three proximity mines. These are definitely going to be useful. I need to get some kills on my fresh heavy, and I still need to get some kills on some other people. There should be quite a few aliens in here, so I'll definitely get a chance to get some kills. Let's just dash. This area looks safe. There's probably going to be a group of aliens in the front. Also, I do not have a sniper in here, so I need to be a little bit more careful than usual. Snipers can do a ton of damage with the Plasma Sniper. That's I definitely won't underestimate the amounts of damage that I'm losing because of no Sniper. I could have brought a Sniper without squad side, but that's not so useful, honestly. I prefer free heavies instead, even if one of them is a squaddy. Yeah, I can hear some chrysalids. And not much else. I didn't hear anything robotic. Alright, I can load that right now. I might see a group of aliens. Nope, nothing here. Oh, is this the front or the back? No, this is the control room right now. Okay, I thought this is the entrance, but it's not. So, I might as well kill the sectoid commanders while I'm here. Yeah, since I'm already here, right next to the control room, 
I'm going to deal with the sectoid commanders right away. And then just backtrack through the UFO. Seems like the best course of action right now. Yeah, just move up here. <coughs> I should be fine with this squad. I was actually tempted to bring more squaddies just to make this a little bit more exciting. <laughs> but I don't want to run into three sectopods again while having a full team of squaddies. That would be a little bit harder to deal with compared to the previous mission. I mean, I actually almost lost a soldier in that previous mission. I did kill three sectopods without any casualties in the end. But it was a little bit tricky. Yeah, I can hear something robotic, so it's quite likely that there's going to be a sectopod in here. I definitely heard something robotic. Okay, there's something right here. Right around the corner. So let's set up. If that's a patrol, it... Oh, great, I triggered it right now. Heavy floaters. That's fine, this shouldn't be too hard to deal with. And I can actually use a flamethrower right now. I don't think I can hit them both. I would have to hit this one. Might not be worth it. 65, 66%. Okay, let's see. 68% with rapid fire. And alloy cannon. I think that's worth it if I can hit at least once. Okay, nice. 9 damage. The alloy cannon does a ton of damage. And now I have all of my heavies back here. So... Let's see. I'll start with Zhang. He has the highest aim. So, this floater up here. He already took some damage. He's dead. So, one down. Two to go. One more shot on Zhang. Yes, I need to kill at least one more heavy floater this turn. And maybe suppress the other one. Oh no, I can't actually see the other one. So, I could take a shot on Eva and then use Overwatch for plus 15 defense. Or I can try to get a kill on my fresh heavy. And that's a kill, nice. Now I can use overwatch on everyone else, I guess. You go here. That should be three shots. Yeah, this is full cover. And overwatch. So bring it on. Here he comes. And he's about to have a bad time. I would have to hit with all three to kill it. Which I want. But he's down to one health. I could actually capture him if I had an arc thrower, but I don't. And I don't really need more plasma rifles. I don't actually need any weapons. Maybe one more alloy cannon, but you can't get alloy cannon from aliens. So I don't really need to capture any aliens anymore. So reload everything and deal with the sectoid commanders. I expect three sectoid commanders inside. Let's just dash or move to the other entrance. Reload. Just reload everything. Even with this much ammo, there's no reason not to reload, really. Alright. So that's one group already down. There's still either a mectoid or a sectopod and a group of chrysalids. Move one more time. Just dash over here. I don't think I'm going to waste rockets on sectoid commanders. Yeah, that's a bit of a waste. Come on, you go here. Why can't I move here? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And you there. I could try to get two kills with one rocket launcher. That might actually work. Or even three kills. If I get all three sectoid commanders to six health or lower, then I could blast them with that rocket launcher on my squaddy. Well, we'll see. I still need some kills on my support and on Chloe, so it doesn't matter all that much. Alright, let's open. Knock, knock. Yep, three sectoid commanders, as expected. It seems the bigger alien ships have three sectoid commanders or three outsiders now, depending on the stage of the game. So, should I use a rocket there? Yeah, two of them are hiding behind the wall. I don't like that too much. I'm just going to blast them with the rocket. Why? Because I can. I'll be fine. If there's a sectopod in here, rocket launcher is not really that effective against it. Two hits with plasma, with heavy plasma are better. 
and this should allow me to get free kills on one of my heavies. So do I want experience on Chloe or on Greta? Chloe should be close to the final promotion now, so I think I'll get free kills on her. Yeah, that might be enough for a promotion, just don't miss. Nice, it was not enough for a promotion, but that's free kills nonetheless. Now to find the other aliens. I'll just backtrack through the UFO. There might be one patrol outside, so I could also check the other side of the UFO. Should probably do that first. So let's go there. This mission is easier than I expected so far, maybe I should bring more squaddies next time. But it could get quite a lot harder if I see some sectopods. Still, one sectopod is not that dangerous. Even with 50% damage reduction. Just dash all, all the way over here. I still need to find that second meld container. That would be nice. I can't see it anywhere just yet. Oh yeah, there it is. So maybe I should go there first. If I want to get that meld. If it's close to the starting area, then I probably won't have enough time to get it anymore. There we go, that's the sectopod. Yeah, now it's on overwatch. So if I move now, I'm going to trigger that. Which is not exactly what I want. Yeah, especially with that mechtoid on overwatch too. I might have to run in with Lisbeth. Hmm. Well, that's not very safe to do. If I do it like this... I should trigger overwatch on that sectopod and I will have full cover. Yes, he's firing, so that's fine, this will miss. Now I can run out with my support and just wait for that sectopod. Yeah, the mectoid will fire as well, but that's fine. I don't mind taking one hit. It didn't even hit in the first place, so there we go. I definitely couldn't afford risking my support taking two shots to the face. Now. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Great, I thought this is going to be full cover, but it wasn't. So that was actually a pretty bad move right there. I could move Eva all the way here to maybe tank a few hits. Yeah, I think I will. Right, let's do that then. Eva can tank the hits, especially with damage control. I still got one more rocket launcher. I will use it, but not just yet. Hmm. Should be safe to move over here. Kind of. I can try to kill one of the sectoids. Nope. Alright. And Zhang. I'll just move him down here. That's a safe location. And Chloe. Yeah, there's not a lot of space around here with proper cover. She'll just have to stay back here. I could try to flank that mechtoid, but then it would have high ground advantage on me. And I could trigger more groups of aliens inside the UFO. So I'm not doing that. I don't think that mechtoid will fire on this turn. No, it won't. I might be able to hit... Both the mechtoid and the sectopod with a rocket launcher. My squaddy obviously doesn't have danger zone. So the blast radius on her rocket launcher is lower. So that sectopod will fire at Eva and at my support. Since it can fire at two targets per turn. I need to deal with that sectopod. First, probably. Yeah, that's 10 damage. This is what makes Sectopods dangerous, they can do 10 damage or 11 damage non-crit. So even if you're immune to crits, they can still do quite a lot of damage. And now I'm down to 9 hit points on my support. Will probably have to back up and heal myself. Yeah, the drones are also doing damage. Not a lot of it, but it all adds up. Now I have to move and heal myself, so let's do that first. This should be plus 6. And then I'll have to heal myself again. So, rocket launcher time. Let's see what I can actually hit. Hmm. 
I might want to kill that sectoid. I could possibly hit the sectoid and the mectoid at the same time. No, I can't. Doesn't look like it. I can probably kill that sectoid in the back with the rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that mectoid won't have a shield anymore because the sectoids are dead. But I'm still going to prioritize the sectopod for obvious reasons. So let's see. 46% chance to hit is a little bit low, but I have to take that shot anyway. Hmm. Proximity mine, maybe? Not a terrible idea. Also, if I get lucky, I might actually be able to kill that mectoid on this turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can. I was going to target the sectopod first, but... Mectoids don't have 50% damage reduction. So it's going to be much easier to kill it. Especially without the shield. I just need to land both of these hits. I will. So that should be like 18 damage or so. With the alloy cannon. Yeah, that was 20 damage. So it's down to one hit point. I hate when aliens are down to one hit point. That's so annoying. Hmm. That's almost dead, but not quite. Can I hit it with the flamethrower? No. I would have to move first and I can't move anymore. Oh, this is 100%. Okay, let's just kill that. I'm not going to leave it alive when I don't have to. So that sectopod can still hit Eva, but I think I'll be fine. She is getting damage reduction now. So I need to move somewhere safe-ish. Right here, maybe? That's only partial cover, but Zhang can take a few hits. I hope I won't trigger chrysalis or anything like that. The chrysalis are probably inside the UFO. Get rid of the drones. They are getting on my nerves. There we go. So that's five kills for Chloe now. Now he will fire at Eva and at Zhang. I'm not sure if it can see Zhang. Is he too far? No, he's firing again. Oh, it can see my heavy? What is he firing at? No, he's not firing at all, okay. So I still got run and gun. And I think I'm going to use it. Yes, I'm definitely going to use it. But let's see... No, Zhang is in range. 84% chance. It won't get much higher than that. So let's try to get some hits in. This could be 12 damage if I hit with both shots. Nice. So that's 12 damage, thanks to hit ammo. Run and gun time. Now I can use run and gun. Rapid fire. Which should do... Oh, great. I triggered another sectopod, really? Are you serious right now? Great. This is a sectopod party. Okay, well, let's kill this one. Elizabeth is immune to critical hits, so she'll be fine as long as I can kill this first sectopod. I have to kill it. I'm going to move closer with Eva. To get higher chance to hit. Yes, that will trigger Overwatch on the other one. But I didn't really have a choice. I need to make sure that I can kill this sectopod. It needs to go down. 69% is still a bit low. Great, I missed. Well, that's just fantastic. I think it's time for a smoke grenade. Yes, it's definitely time for a smoke grenade, but I still need to kill that sectopod. Or destroy, whatever. Hmm. This is going to be risky, but I don't have a choice. I need to do this. So take a shot like that. Nice. And it's down. Okay, but this is not over yet. I still need to deal with that other sectopod, and it's still very dangerous. But now I can use smoke grenade. I can't protect everyone. Hmm. Actually, it seems I can. But this doesn't guarantee Lisbeth is going to get smoke. Because, yeah, these indicators are wrong sometimes. Especially with smoke grenades. And I don't want to risk Lisbeth not having the smoke. Then again, I don't want my heavy to eat a crit to the face either. So I hope everyone will get the smoke effect like this. But I'm not convinced. 
even though they were highlighted red. Let's check. Yes, I'm getting smoke effect on Lisbeth. And I'm getting smoke effect on Chloe. Okay, so that's fine. Not much I can do with Greta. I could run all the way here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Hmm. I don't want to give that sectopod high ground advantage on anyone. I could also hide behind the corner and still have the smoke effect. I'm actually kind of hoping that the sectopod will start an AoE because it has a good target for... What? Oh, I thought that's another sectopod. But seriously? Two mechtoids and two sectopods? Great. These missions are actually pretty harsh so far. Yeah, it will hit, but fortunately it can't crit Lisbeth. Now he will probably target Eva. Oh yeah, he's targeting Eva. I might want to use the Restorative Mist right now to heal both Eva and Lisbeth at the same time. Yeah, I think I'll have to. I don't like doing it in the middle of combat, but I'm mostly going to do it because I can heal three people at once. So I'll start from doing that then. That also means I can't reload, but yeah. Alright, let's use it then. So that will heal three people at once. Lisbeth is up to 13 hit points, not fantastic, but it will have to do. Yeah, I'm not in range of that sectopod with Zhang. I have to move a bit closer. Like this. And I'm still not in range. Great. Get rid of that drone then. Maybe I should back up with all these people. Not a terrible idea. I don't have any rocket launchers anymore. I could run up and hit that sectopod in the face with rapid fire. But that's a little bit dangerous, I would say. I think I prefer to back up for one turn. Yeah, I'm actually going to back up. I can't move with Eva anymore, obviously. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to run behind the corner. This will trigger Overwatch, obviously. I'm going to run behind the corner and reload. Fortunately, they both missed. I do have lightning reflexes, but that only protects you against one reaction shot. I still got more med kids, but I need to heal myself. Like this. This is still quite tricky. But I should be fine. Now. I need more cover. I could run down here. Not a terrible idea. So let's do that. No reaction shots anymore. So it's safe to do this. And I should be in range. Hunker down. So Eva will probably take more damage right now, but she's fine. Oh great, another group incoming? No, that's just a sectoid. Yeah, Eva can take one more round of hits, but then I'll need to kill her again. Oh great, Crystal is incoming. That's exactly what I needed. Are you serious? Wow. Well, that's just annoying. Now I'll have to deal with this Chrysalis. And I don't have any more explosives other than the proximity mine. I might actually use the proximity mine right now. Yes, I think I will. That's only 8 damage though, and I have to waste a turn to set it up. I do think that's the best move though, because Eva is actually out of ammo, and I would have to waste an entire turn to reload. But this mission... I thought this mission is going to be easier than the previous one. I mean, it can't possibly be worse than three sectopods at the same time, right? And that melt container is obviously not going to happen. But apparently it can be worse. So I'm going to run all the way back. Like so, because then I can heal Eva. Oh yeah, she might eat a reaction shot. Oh, that was just the sectoid. Not a problem. Now I can throw the proximity mine. So I'm going to use it somewhere around here, I guess. I could just move back with everyone and use that proximity mine near the chrysalis. I think I'm going to play it safe and just back up with everyone. Yeah, it's time to back up. That's the smart thing to do, especially with proximity mines. 
I can actually run behind the corner and heal Lisbeth for 6. I got 2 more uses of the med kit still. Don't move. You'll be fine. So there we go. Now that's much better. And I can use the proximity mine. So if I set it up like this, that might hit all chrysalis. I hope so. They will have to move towards me. And the proximity mine does 8 damage, so... That proximity mine might actually kill all of them. I'm going to back up with Zhang and reload. And I'm going to back up with Chloe as well. Yeah. Hmm. I could back up right here and then hunker down. Can they see me? No, just the chrysalis. Okay, hunker down. The chrysalis could run towards my heavies, but they have to move through the proximity mine. So I'm hoping that proximity mine will kill them all. Yes, it did. Oh yeah, the sectopod was actually using that AoE. So it was the AoE that triggered the proximity mine. But hey, it works. It doesn't matter what triggered it, it did its job. Okay. So the sectopod is not moving towards me. I can't deal with that sectoid in the back. So I'll just target the mectoid first. I just have to burn through the shield. I can't kill the sectoid that was buffing it. One more shot. I'm glad I got Zhang in here. This would be a little bit harder without him. And Chloe has hit ammo too. So let's try a shot. Nice, it's down. Did I get a promotion yet? No, I did not. So now I just got the sectopod to deal with. I might want to reload. Reload. Overwatch? Yeah. And Overwatch. Do I need any more heals on someone? Actually, yes, I kind of do. Yes, I still need one more heal on Lisbeth. So there we go. Now she's back to full health. Overwatch. Bring it on. So, I hope that Sectopod is the last alien in this mission now, other than the Sectoids and the drone. I'm not really counting the Sectoids and the drone. They are not exactly a threat anymore. Nice try. Come on, don't be shy. I'm waiting for you. Oh yeah, he's actually firing from all the way in the back. Okay. So now I have to run closer to actually see it. Come on. Give me my turn already. Are we there yet? Okay, now I need to move. I still got two more proximity mines, but I don't think that sectopod is going to move. That seems fairly unlikely. Let's just take a shot like this. And I missed. Fantastic. Eva missed almost every single shot in this mission? Or did she actually miss every single shot? Hmm. I don't really want to waste my shots on this, but I'll have to do it sooner or later. So let's do it now. Nice, I actually got a promotion from that. Perfect. Hunker down. That sectopod actually has high ground advantage on Chloe? Yes, it does. So I need to be careful with that. Let's run forward. I won't kill the sectopod on this turn, obviously. I'm not even sure if I'm going to kill it on the next turn. Let's try to do some damage at least. Okay, nice. The drones are gone, so they can't repair it anymore. I can't hit it from here. I can try from here. Or I can try to kill that sectoid. Nah. Hmm. I need to get closer. This is a little bit dangerous because I'm giving the sectopod high ground advantage. But I'm hunkering down to prevent crits. I can use run and gun and rapid fire on the next turn. So that will do a lot of damage. Here maybe? I don't think that's the best choice. Yeah, it's probably better to just hide behind the corner. Okay, bring it on. I give that sectopod two turns max. I can just run right up to it with Lisbeth, use rapid fire, and even if it won't die, it can't kill Lisbeth, so then she can use rapid fire on the next turn, 
even if she eats a hit to the face. That won't be more than 11 damage. One more shot at my support, probably. Yep. Should be fine. He didn't even hit. Okay, so, run and gun first. Let's do that. Can I actually get close enough? Yes, I can. I can run right next to it. Say hello to my alloy cannon. And obviously this will trigger the overwatch shot. Come on. So this will be 100% chance to hit. 96, okay. But she's not mad, so she won't miss that. There we go, that's 10 damage. So that's more or less equivalent of 20 damage. Because it has 50% damage reduction. Now I can take some more shots. Nope, not missed. I don't think I can kill it on this turn. But I can do quite a lot of damage. I need to move closer. Yeah, I can't even shoot from here. This is close enough, or is it? Yes, it is. 74%. Yeah, Zhang's aim is pretty damn good right now. He does have the medal that gives him plus 10 aim. So his aim is at 100 right now. That's pretty damn good for a heavy. Another hit. This is a little bit risky, but I'm going to take that shot. It's mostly risky because I'm exposing my heavies to Chris. But I actually have a chance to kill that on this turn. Yes, I do have a chance to kill that on this turn. If I hit with this... Nope. One more shot. Come on. I do have one more shot, but that's on my support. And she won't do more than 4 damage, unless she gets a crit. Nope. Great. Another Sectopod down to 1 health. I hate when that happens. I had a Sectopod down to 1 health in my previous mission. So now it will get 2 shots. But unless I get extremely unlucky, everyone should be fine. Actually no, even if it gets a crit on someone, it can't kill anyone. No, it can't. So Lisbeth first, that's actually good for me, again, because Lisbeth is immune to Chris, and now he's targeting my support, yeah, no, he's targeting Eva, that's fine, Eva has 23 hit points, so I was safe. Now I can get a kill on someone who actually needs experience, which means my heavy probably, yeah, Greta, that's 47%, and it's down. Now I can get rid of the sectoids and finish the mission. That was a really fun mission, I have to say. Or technically still is, but it's about to be done. No more run and gun, but I might be able to hit from here. Yeah, yeah, you can try. Oh yeah, it's the one in the front buffing the one in the back. So he'll go down, say goodnight. Mission done? Should be. Come on. What? It's not done yet? Really? Are you serious right now? How many aliens did I kill already? Okay, wow. I totally expected this mission to be done. Okay. I guess there's going to be one more group somewhere. It's a shame I lost the melt container, but I didn't really have a big choice. Right, well, let's find the last group of aliens. It has to be somewhere around here. I already killed the sectoid commanders, so there's nothing left in the control room. Oh yeah, I can hear something robotic, still. Will be funny if I get one more sectopod. Actually, no, it won't be funny. At least, I won't be laughing all that much. Nothing here? Well, this is a bit annoying. It's probably a patrol somewhere outside, maybe? I have no idea. I'll just backtrack through the UFO Moving to position. and try to find it like that. It's fine, everyone's at full health, so I'm not really worried. Finishing this mission is just a formality at this stage. And I'm really happy about that promotion, so I have another max rank heavy in my squad. Or in my barracks. Give me that last alien. 
Okay, he's that way. What was that sound? So that's either a mechtoid or a sectopod. That's a mechtoid. Okay. That won't be very hard to deal with then. I could probably just wait here. And wait for his move. Yeah. I'm on the move. move a little bit closer. And then use run and gun and rapid fire on my next turn. Yeah, no point attacking it right now. So I'll just wait. 32%. I could actually try to get a hit from back here. Yeah, let's try. If I hit even once, that was worth it. Nice, 8 damage. Awesome. I might actually be able to kill it on this turn, if I get some lucky hits. That could happen. Yeah, yeah, reaction shot. He didn't even hit. So let's try this. Oh yeah, I can't see it from here. Let's use a proximity mine then. That might do something. Not much else I can do on this turn anyway. Not on Eva. And... Well, I have to dash now. Greta probably won't be very useful against that. It will be down by the time I can get there. Oh yeah, I still got one more medkit use, but I can't really do anything useful with it right now. So, Zhang. I can't use him on this turn. Can I get one more shot on this turn? No, I don't think so. Can I? Yes, I can. I won't kill the Mectoid, but I will do 12 damage. So it might kill itself on my proximity mine if I get lucky. If anything moves into the proximity mine... Yeah, there we go. He didn't actually kill itself because of the shield. But it was pretty damn close, actually. So he's firing at Chloe, that's okay. Now it will go down. I still need to get rid of that Sectoid in the back. I could probably just kill the Sectoid first. With Lisbeth. And then finish off the Mectoid with someone else. He's down. So now this mission should be done. I will be really surprised if this is not done. I will try to get a kill on Greta, because why not? Nope, I can't do it from here. Oh well. So, I can get a kill on my support. Yeah, she still needs one more promotion. And this should be 100%. Are we done yet? And hey, I should get quite a lot of meld from this. 24 aliens killed, holy crap. That's a lot of aliens. But I guess it was a supply ship. Still, I did remember supply ships having this many aliens. So only one promotion, but a very valuable one. I'm still going with Mayhem. And I got how much meld? 40 meld, awesome. And one flight computer. I actually need some flight computers because I can't build the blaster launcher without flight computers. Next research. I think I will go for the plasma pistol now. I can do sectopod autopsy real quick. Like so. And then I could also go for ghost armor. But let's see. I'm pretty sure I can't actually build a blaster launcher right now. No. I need one more flight computer. Because I only have one at the moment. Which is a bit annoying. Sell this. Yeah, I only have one. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here. And continue in next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.